today we are installing Mac OS X, the iAdcos S3, as a test on the Dell D630. I saw many people having problems with it, installing it, and so. And uh, here it is. So uh, we just booted from the CD, it's normal CD, DVD, and uh, we go to utilities first, of course, and we go to disk utility. That is the first thing that we will do. Remember that this is a normal computer, this is not a Mac. And um, well, at this point, we are never sure if the installation will go right, but you know, with a little bit of uh, knowledge of the hardware inside and about the chipset, you can make the right choices soon as if we have to uh, customize the installation. So up here you can see a hard drive, we have a Windows 8 installed on there. We're gonna select the drive itself and then we're gonna hit erase. Up here we will select to create a Mac OS X journal partition, the top one. You see that? Not case sensitive, but all the way on top. Extended journal. See that? Good. And up here we're gonna give the baby a name and we will call it uh, we will call it Madame Madame X okay so uh, now we hit erase and we say erase and we say goodbye to the Windows 8 installation that was on here and we're gonna try something even more challenging and the 160 gigabyte hard drive will be partitioned, formatted. There you go. And now we have a drive called Madam X. Sorry for the. If you cannot see it too good. And then we hit continue. Up here we hit the arrow continue. And up here we will select the hard drive Madam X. We will double click it and then another screen will open. And up here we will have to do some selections. After the second failure, we boot it back. Now I'm gonna choose for the Chameleon V2 RC5 <clears throat> bootloader. I will choose no bootloader options, no graphics enabler, no nothing up there. So we don't select anything in bootloader options. We go to patches. In RTC 32 bit modified kernels. I don't see no reason to install a modified kernel because, in fact, if I don't install a modified kernel, then you know we will be able to update. But then again, everything works, it starts up, so you know we got no problems. We have no problems with the kernel, so we're gonna stay, for, gonna, not gonna touch it. Main hardware, SATA IDE, this is for the hard drive, so it finds the hard drive, Intel SATA IDE, we must select that. Sound is already selected, we deselect Apple HDA, uh, PS2 for the mouse and the keyboard cpu management we will go for fudo p state laptop hardware we select everything and the fs3g yeah you 
has selected uh, VGA and now it comes we will select the Intel the GMA 3100 and this is the AV string and the native text enabler so I'm also gonna select these two all right in network oops no I don't need the language yet in network we will go for Broadcom Wi-Fi driver this one here and for the wired we also have Broadcom in here but it's the Broadcom 5755M well that's it nothing more to choose we have everything now so what did we do network Broadcom uh, for the video the 3100 including the frame buffer native blah 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 laptop hardware but in bootloader options we did not select anything you see that so let's do it and if this fails then i'm not gonna post this video probably because <laughs> what kind of uh, video will it be a video showing a failed installation although we can also learn from that but it will be so unsatisfying at the end you know but maybe people can you know discover the problem but we're not there yet maybe it will work so you know let's not uh, sell the dog before it's dead okay the third install and let's see if she will boot up now third install and uh, I just booted up and you know I spared you the the reboot but it's booting now and if everything goes good now we should not get a black screen again if so then I give up then this failure is not fixable by me at least not with this version and not in this way of installing I shall probably need my hack or something like that to you know get this thing to a Mac but then again I won't do it if this old traditional way doesn't work then to me hey peeps look oh 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 did you see that and now the damn sound is playing we're gonna hit F8, FN, F8, press them both, nothing, see, so this thing is not working peeps, installation went fine, as it shows, you know, sound is playing, but black screen, yo, so, I give up, I lost fucking project don't give up on this walkie you can still try some code that's correct you can still try one code and the code that I thought of because I also selected 32 bit is arch is 32 and then I hit it enter so let's go from there Hell no, you know what you must do? I just found it out. You must type R is 32. Just type that. And then, ta -da! and then it works, man. Wow, I just got this idea before I was like, yo, I failed and such a waste of all my time trying to create a video that, you know, it's not successful but look hey I did it man 
This is really, really cool. Uh, do not transfer. My computer does not connect to the internet, so the Wi-Fi is not found. Continue. Okay, let me fill this in real fast. Okay, peeps, look, there it is. It's installed. Processor 1.81 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo. 2 GB of RAM. Wi-Fi is not installed, so I don't know. Uh, I think that the Wi-Fi chip in this thing, you know, is not the same as what I thought that it was. So that is not working about this Mac. Let's go to more info. Network. We do have network though, but the Wi-Fi is not working. I do have a Wi-Fi stick to let it work. We could also try to get this Wi-Fi to work, you know. Airport, no airport probably. No airport installed. So, and let's see how it is with the resolution of this screen displays and the resolution is 1024 by 768 you see so yeah I don't really care too much about about this format the screen is big enough Nice background. Yay, my classic video part is there. So this is it, peeps. It's working. All is working. Um, yeah, I can say that. Uh, yeah, I did not successfully uh, install the Wi-Fi because don't know about the Wi-Fi. What's up with it? Probably there's no Wi-Fi in it. What is this? There's a modem, Ethernet, and Firewire. I do have an Ethernet cable here so I can stick it in, you know, and see if I can get uh, this uh, Wi-Fi to work. So I'm gonna do some discovery on the Discovery Channel to see what kind of Wi-Fi we have in this thing. And if I succeed then, you know, a little part 2 will come out of this video the Wi-Fi settings for this thing so in fact what you must do is after the install you just type arch a r c h and then is you know like is 32 that's what you must type and then you will get into the screen and you don't get the black screen anymore and then you know you can log in and then your system works but no Wi-Fi no Wi-Fi, no, no, no Wi-Fi. Maybe I still have a Broadcom Wi-Fi card. I don't know if, uh, I don't think that the connection is the same. You know, it's like a little bit, these big cards. And in this, in this thing, I think you have a real small uh, wireless card, you know. Although I'm not sure. So I'm gonna open it and see. Because if I can change the Wi-Fi chip into a Broadcom chip, then this thing is a fully working Mac, yo. Although the resolution of the screen is not 100%, but we might, might fix that. There are some ways to fix it, but you know, I'm happy with this. I had the Mac, this Mac was running for at least two years. It ran 10.6.8, you know, uh, and it was fully compatible. I did not install a kernel, so, you know, um, because we didn't install no uh, custom kernel we can also uh, update the system now so we can go to you know Apple and then download the updates and then just update it and then it will start up and it will work as a charm so you know so that's what we're gonna do in part two I hope you like this video it was in a low resolution today uh, but uh, I will upgrade it to fake HD so thanks again for watching until my next project this was a long ass project. <laughs>